And the breaking news is weather related. We have a tornado watch in effect till 1 a.m. for all the counties in yellow. So it includes Etowah County, St. Clair, Shelby, Jefferson, Bibb, Tuscaloosa, and all counties north and west of there in effect till 1 a.m. Could possibly be extended later on for the rest of our counties, Calhoun, Talladega, Clay, and Chilton County as well. We had one batch of thunderstorms come through northern parts of the area earlier, still producing a lot of lightning up here northern Etowah County and points north of there. But that's moving away now, basically, and it's primarily a hail threat. We never did see much of a tornado threat with this. Back to the west, we had this disorganized supercell that at one point may have caused a brief tornado back in Mississippi. Can't really confirm that. We do know of one fatality in Lee County, Mississippi. A tree had fallen and a truck driver ran into that tree and unfortunately he did pass away. Whether or not that was related to this storm, we're not absolutely sure, but in any event, it's tracking in such a way to track like so. Southern Walker County, Northwest Jefferson County up into Blunt. Right now, no warnings associated with it, but obviously it's a heavy thunderstorm. Lots of cloud to ground lightning, as you can see there, and also a fair amount of uh, torrential downpours with this, and we'll certainly keep an eye on it. Could be life threatening with this, the possibility of a couple of tornadoes. We don't think it's one of those nights when there's going to be a bunch of strong to violent tornadoes, but we do think the possibility of a couple tornadoes. Indeed, a slight risk of severe weather for much of the area for the rest of the overnight period. Here's our short term model forecast by 10 o'clock tonight. Thunders, that's only one hour from now. There's that supercell storm over Coleman County and northeastern Walker County. Watch what happens as we go forward in time. The line kind of reorganizes by midnight over Tuscaloosa. In fact, the worst may already be over there, approaching Birmingham by that point, and it continues to move southeast by 1 a.m. northern Shelby County, Helena, Pelham, Alabaster getting it then, Birmingham getting it as well, and then it gradually moves away as we get to 2 o'clock in the morning. So the time frame is from now and especially from about 1130 or midnight up until about uh, 3 o'clock or so in the morning, something like that. We'll be back with you shortly, of course, and our complete newscast starts off at 10 o'clock. If need be, we'll be back sooner than that.